Hey Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your daily tarot reading. So if you are an air sign or you're connected to an air sign, this is definitely for you. Um, and we're going to be sussing out what this person wants you to know and what they want to say to you. So um, we're going to go intuitive here as well. So anything that sort of pops up that I feel is relevant to your situation and to this person, I'm going to be relaying that over to you. So let's kick it off. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you are new um, and if you're existing. Thank you so much for coming back. It really does mean a lot. There's like so many tarot readers out these days, but um, honestly, they're all amazing in their own magical way. Um, but I really do appreciate you coming back to my channel. So let's have a look. What does this person want to say to air signs? What do they maybe secretly want to say to you? Let's see. Let's have a look. Okay. Wow. I love you. I look for you everywhere. Someone's looking you up. Um, oh, they're not available though. I regret lying to you. Okay. Straight away. This is someone that's a bit of a player vibes going on here, air signs. This is someone who has fallen for you, but they're not available. Um, and they lie to you about it. Okay. They acknowledge it though. So, okay. And Whatever it is, this is someone who's got a, who's who's been with you, possibly went back to someone else, right? And then has gone, wow, okay. It's like since they've been with you, nothing has been the same for them, you know, intimately, sexually, physically, emotionally, they're they're at a different stage. Like you've activated something within this person that it's almost like they've gone to the got they've gone back to a life they had before they met you, but it's just not what it used to be. It's so, so different. Um Okay, there could be a huge love confession coming. So it's a major, major love bombing going on here, air signs. This person loves you. Okay, it's it's now. It's in the present moment. It's not in the past. So it makes me feel like this is someone you're currently connected to. They're definitely looking you up. They're trying to find your social media. Um, it's like they've, they've reached out to you. But given the whole situation, and I, I feel like there might be a bit of tension between you guys, you haven't like responded to them. You let them on red or you like, you're like, okay, I've said my piece and you've possibly had silence from them. Like you've said your piece, they lied, they manipulated the situation, they know they were in the wrong and you let them have it. It's like you've, you've blown up at them, you've let them have it. Okay, maybe it was a bit harsh, but you felt in the moment you had to lay it all out for them. And then they they're kind of regretting what they did um and it's it's sort of uh led to that regret it's opened up the road to regret um but it's just so complicated because they're not available what's going on so they're either taken they've gone back to something here or they've said you know i don't want a relationship like i love you but i don't want this you know i would give us another go but i don't want this or i'll leave this person but i don't want this like i'll leave them for you but i don't want this so there's something about availability and, you know, you got to be careful because someone's words and someone's actions, you have to go by the actions. Like, you know, people can say as much as they want, they'll change, they'll be better, they're going to focus on themselves. Um, you know, they want to make things easier for you. They can say anything, but it's the action that's going to make up. And it doesn't always match up. And then we end up getting hurt, you know. Um, we're pretty open. And when we love, we love hard air signs, right? So when we fall, we fall hard. So you know this is this is there's the, like i said there's there's tension it's it's been picked up here um I, I feel like there is still tension that exists between the both of you but this person loves you so uh, they love you but they're not available so i think they're confused this person is genuinely like unsure about what is going on what they want where they're at so you know it's it's a tricky situation um I, I do feel like they feel guilt for what they're doing, but they might not have come out and, say, and, and, and said it. Uh, they may be looking forward to seeing you or reconnecting with you, um, but there could be some, again, mixed feelings because they're not sure when that's going to happen. But especially if this person has been silent, like that says a lot, right? Like if someone has remained silent or hasn't responded or, you know, has left things like that, that's that's a huge message in itself right um it's either they want to avoid it together or they all together or they want to move on or whatever it is um but it's also disrespect okay like at least they could be honest and upright and say okay this is how i'm feeling like you know i don't know some of you may have been let on here um 
yeah let's have a look at what else is going on with this person here they're definitely confused mixed feelings is what i'm getting um but they look for you everywhere i want to be surprised like you know, if they're dating people that look like you, if they are with someone from the same culture, like on a subconscious level, they're, they're seeking you out, whether they're aware of it or not. Okay, nine of wands, three of crystals, okay, queen of crystals, strong earth energy, the crystals as earth, okay, Leo vibes. Okay, pride. Pride is coming in. Okay, oppression. Queen of Swords. Um, okay, I read the Queen of Swords as a Gemini. Could be more for you, Gems, but not necessarily. A strong Leo theme. We've got these these animals here. Um, we've got oppression. This person feels feels oppressed. So you maybe have made them feel like um you were restricting them in a way, um, and they felt like at times they were being oppressed, but. I also feel like they they know they're holding themselves back by doing something yet action isn't being taken so it's again it's super confusing nine of wands they're being that they're protecting themselves so it's like they know if they go back to you and they let their guard down they're probably going to fall for you again um or they know like if they've said to themselves no i don't want to be back with this air sign they know if they come back to you again and things are really good they know they're going to fall for you again um so it's it's a tough situation here but, you know, we've got the feather, feather of truth. I feel like they have to face the truth. They have to face their, the, themselves, their honesty. Um, and I feel like this, this, this cloak over her is telling me like this person is, has a veil over their eyes. So they're definitely not thinking clearly or seeing clearly, which lines up to the whole mixed energy thing, right? Like they're confused. They're confused and then you're confused and then everything else is just piles up on top and then you don't get anywhere. But I feel like today, this day, they're feeling like this super conflicted energy. Like in the morning they wake up and they're like angry at you and they re remember everything and they're resentful. And then later towards the day, a really sweet memory pops up and then they're like, man, I miss this person. So yeah, they're definitely going through a lot of stuff right now. And it's, yeah, it is making it um, very difficult for them. Um, but to be honest, I feel like Queen of Swords is here. This is communication. So you're probably going to hear from this person. Um, but, you know, I feel like they've got something to say. They've got something to say. Um, are they ready to say it? Maybe not. But they have something in their mind that they want to say to you. Could be an apology. Uh, could be communication you might have been waiting on. Um, you might be waiting for this person to reach out or break the ice or be the first one to ask you out or something. But be the first one to speak they do want to communicate they've been thinking about it typing up messages or emails they're they're wanting to do that um and reach out and reconnect but mm, like i said they're sort of they're kind of waiting nine of wands could be something you ended something recently with but again they're trying to protect themselves because they know you might manipulate the situation a little bit if 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 they do come back but obviously there's still feelings there like a lot of pride coming through and man pride can really mess up relationships it's such a shame to see and you know it's it's re it's really powerful because it can overpower more genuine feelings of um, vulnerability and it's like this person isn't facing it because they're just stuck on this pride thing but essentially it's it's eating at them day by day and you're affected too, you know, it, the both of you started this relationship, it took the both of you to connect, so, I mean, it could be that this person is wanting to leave behind a life for you, three of crystals is here, so I definitely feel like you'll see them again, you'll definitely reconnect, I don't think this is the end, um, but again, is it's, let them reinitiate conversation let them have the time away from you but you also need it because you're coming up as a queen of swords it's like day by day your thoughts are getting stronger um day by day you're getting at a better place and you're sort of processing everything and if they have these mixed feelings you know kind of just like need to let them be right there's you can't control too much i know 
I know you want to control everything, especially gems. I know, trust me, I'm a gem. I know exactly what it feels like, but sometimes you have to just let things flow and this person has to have their own time to process things. So trust, trust the universe in this um, air signs, but I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for tuning in. I do hope to be in touch very soon and uh, all the best.